right guys, so here's an update on the vegetable garden. So stay tuned. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to keep updated with what's going on in the garden here at our Airbnb. So let's get into it. All right, guys, so first off, first is first, we have our sign here if you want to check us out on our website, www.geodomesofsouthtexas.com. We put this up so that way guests can kind of come, up, come over here and take pictures with all the fruits and vegetables that they were able to pick up here on the property. So that's why this is here. And we thought it was very fitting because it was camo. This is actually a gift from my cousin for Christmas. So we used it right here. Um, but we're going to go ahead and walk through and show you guys everything we have planted. They've only been in the ground for a couple days. I started them in, in the little pots um, during the winter. So right here we have all watermelon. These are Congo and Jubilee watermelon plants. And then some of these did die. So we did put some new seeds in here to hopefully get them to sprout up. So we don't have any bald spots in the, in the garden itself. But yeah, all of this is watermelon. And then we ran out of pre-started or pre-grown watermelon. So we went ahead and threw in some seeds for the last few remaining spots. And then here we have cantaloupe. So these are all cantaloupe in here. All of these are seeds as well. So I did have to end up cutting like holes, which you'll see closer towards the end. But I didn't end up, I was just cutting slits. That wasn't working, it's creating too much heat. So I did have to actually cut the holes so that way they could breathe a little better. So you'll see what I'm talking about here in a little bit. Yeah, so all of this is cantaloupe. And then here are the ones that I pre-grew indoors to get them ready for the outdoors. And I'll show you the irrigation system that we set up and everything. So these are all zucchini plants. But as you can see, I haven't cut the slits on these. I mean, I haven't cut the, the circular holes, only the slits. And it's just creating a little bit too much heat for the plants. So that's why we're, we're going around and making them wider. Yeah, all of these are zucchini. And then from here, yes, I believe it's this one. Yeah, from here, it starts to become cucumber. So all of these are cucumbers. You might be wondering, what are those rocks for? It's just to keep the, the tarp, this little plastic fabric, from smacking the plants around. And then on this one, we have corn. So we put corn for like the last 10 feet is corn. So this is all going to be corn. They just sprouted up. I don't know if you can see them. They're still very, I mean, they barely just like poked to the ground, some of them. I guess I'll have to come back and do another video for you guys, but they just poked up and these are all corn. All four rows are corn. Uh, right here we have wild flowers. We put some wild flowers in the garden as well uh, to help with pollination. And then from here we put carrots. So these, I mean, these are so cute. Look at the little cute carrots. So from here, we put carrots, I believe, to about right in here, to this little spot. I had, I had the little spots of uh, dirt that I, that, now it's my marker, right? So we have corn, wildflowers, carrots, and then from here, we have sunflowers. These are mammoth sunflowers. They're really, really huge. Again, these are going to be great for bringing in the bees and the pollinators. So from here, we have onions. You can kind of see some of the onions here. They're barely poking out. But this is a lot of onions. We eat a lot of onions ourselves. And uh, I know a lot of people cook with these. And then from here, we have more sunflowers. It's a small section. It's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve-ish sunflowers but these are the orange and yellow sunflowers so they're a little bit different but still mammoths still huge sunflowers you can actually see the seed right there and then from here we have cilantro so the cilantro plants did not do so so well but hopefully they'll do better um, we just got a, got them in there about a day or two ago so hopefully they'll catch on and then again this is all corn so working our way back this is all corn as well and then we have i believe more wildflowers these are going to be daisies all of these are daisies 
until we get to over here. And then these are alternating. So we have jalapenos, serrano, jalapeno, serrano, jalapeno, serrano. And it's just chilies all the way down to the end and just alternating. So now these on this side are all tomatoes. These are all cherry tomatoes. So we did have one or two die here. So we put some new seeds in there. Hopefully they'll spread out. But these are all cherry tomatoes. The whole stretch. This is a solid plant. Look at that one. It's doing really, really well. So the garden is, I believe, 60 feet long by 50 feet wide. So it is a good sized garden. And then again, all corn at the end. Jumping over to this side. Again, all corn. I saw one sprout out here somewhere. I was checking them the other day, well, this morning. So they did sprout, just a matter of finding them. Can't find them. Okay, so these are all big boys. This is the other row and these are all big boy tomatoes. And there's a handful of them, not a whole, whole bunch. I think it's 16 plants, which is a, enough for a good sized garden. These are all big boys. That's literally the name of them. So just in case anyone's wondering, but yeah. Again, all these were started indoors as well. But yeah, guys, that's gonna be the quick update on the garden. So definitely subscribe, definitely stay tuned. Um, if anyone has any suggestions that I could do better, go ahead and drop them down in the comments as well. Um, I'm not a professional gardener. I'm just somebody that's doing it to add value to our Airbnbs. I do like gardening. I know a little bit, but I don't know everything. So if any, any of you guys do have um, some, some questions also, if you have questions or if you have any um, recommendations, def definitely drop it down below in the description. But uh, yeah, guys, definitely check us out. GeodumsOfSouthTexas.com. Everything will be linked down below in the description. And if you stay tuned till the end of the video, definitely subscribe to the channel. It definitely helps out with the algorithm. Definitely give this video a like. Until next time, be careful, be good, take care, and God bless. See you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.